the great oxygenation event, the beginning of which is commonly known in scientific media as the great oxidation event was the biologically induced appearance of dioxygen in Earth's atmosphere. Geological, isotopic, and chemical evidence suggests that this major environmental change happened around 2.45 billion years ago, during the Sidarian period, at the beginning of the Proterozoic Aeon. The causes of the event remain unclear. As of 2016, the geochemical and biomarker evidence for the development of oxygenic photosynthesis before the Great Oxidation event has been mostly inconclusive. Oceanic cyanobacteria, which evolved into coordinated macroscopic forms more than 2.3 billion years ago, are believed to have become the first microbes to produce oxygen by photosynthesis. Before the go, any free oxygen they produced was chemically captured by dissolved iron or by organic matter. The go started when oxygen produced by the cyanobacteria started escaping into the atmosphere, after other oxygen reservoirs were filled. The increased production of oxygen set Earth's original atmosphere off balance. Free oxygen is toxic to obligate anaerobic organisms, and the rising concentrations may have destroyed most such organisms at the time. A spike in chromium contained in ancient rock deposits formed underwater shows the accumulation had been washed off from the continental shelves. Chromium is not easily dissolved, and its release from rocks would have required the presence of a powerful acid. One such acid, sulfuric acid, might have formed through bacterial reactions with pyrite. Mats of oxygen-producing cyanobacteria can produce a thin layer, 1 or 2 mm thick, of oxygenated water in an otherwise anoxic environment even under thick ice. Before oxygen started accumulating in the atmosphere, these organisms would already have adapted to oxygen. Additionally, the free oxygen would have reacted with atmospheric methane, a greenhouse gas, greatly reducing its concentration and triggering the Huronian glaciation, possibly the longest episode of glaciation in Earth's history and called Snowball Earth. Eventually, the evolution of aerobic organisms that consumed oxygen established an equilibrium in its availability. Free oxygen has been an important constituent of the atmosphere ever since.